This video explains a new method for repairing a distal triceps rupture, the triceps pulley pullover technique. The patient is prepared in the lateral decubitus position with the affected arm over a horizontal bar. A standard posterior approach to the elbow is used. The ruptured end of the triceps is identified and debrided and mobilised. The triceps insertion footprint is prepared and debrided to bleeding bone to optimise healing. The first or proximal row of suture anchors is placed approximately 15 millimetres from the olecranon tip. First on the radial side and then on the ulnar side, 15 millimetres apart. For this repair we have used all suture anchors with four to six strands each to minimise bone loss and ensure a strong hold. With the proximal anchors in position, both ends of one strand from each anchor are passed through the tendon from deep to superficial. The pulley technique is then performed. A loop is first tied over the assistant's fingers using strands A and C. The other ends of these are then pulled through, snugging the knots down and opposing the triceps to the tendon footprint. The free ends are then tied to lock the pulley in place Using the remaining strands from each anchor, the repair is then augmented with the locking stitches along each side of the tendon. The pullover technique is then performed. A strand is taken from each of the knots and pulled distally, further advancing and bracing the repair. A simple bone anchor is then used to lock the strands to the ulna, just distal to the triceps footprint. The repair is now complete. The wound may be closed and rehab may now begin.